Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It really helps me out if you like, comment, subscribe, and if you would consider purchasing from one of my sponsors in the description. Thanks a bunch. Hey everybody, I hope you had a wonderful and excellent Christmas. I know I certainly did, especially me and the new train running around and Christmas Dryman doing his job as per usual. I hope you got a lot of cool stuff and had some time to enjoy some trains before having to go back to work. Like always, I got the ever-living snot beat out of me on the 26th. I have no idea why anyone would like this holiday unless you are a true sadist or perhaps a masochist. Commonwealthers, I don't get it. If you remember from the other day, I went to Grandpa Joe's, or at least I found myself at Grandpa Joe's in Springfield, which is a place I may not ever go back to again. But inside they had all of these sodas, so many sodas. And I said I would buy a bunch and try some for you. And so we're going to do that, starting with this one. And I figured I'd start off kind of easy. I'd start off with this marshmallow flavor. Let's see, nutrition, not surprising. It doesn't really have any, fair enough. I think it's made with real sugar. Yeah, well, lots of, yeah, actually sugar. Great, so marshmallow, so let's, Give this one a go, shall we? Okay, so it tastes, ooh, oh my goodness. I, uh, okay, so it tastes exactly like if, let's try this again. It tastes exactly like if someone took a bunch of honeydew juice, and I mean straight from, ugh, ugh. Yeah, if somebody took a bunch of honeydew juice and rendered it down to about 50% of its water content. It's, I don't know why I keep doing this to me. About 50%, yeah, of its water content, and you drink it. That's exactly what that's like. It's really rich. Oh, okay. All right, well, on to my Christmas gifts. And the first one I have, the uh, first few I have is actually from my mother. And check this out. I got some Thomas the Tank Engine Chopsticks. Very cool. Um, I don't really, you know, actually I do watch Thomas Tank Engine a little bit. It's, of course, way after my time, but the fact that he is a locomotive and everyone else is either some sort of locomotive or rolling stock or something like that, can't really beat that in a show, right? So check this out. Very, very nifty. These will come in handy, without a doubt. And these are Japanese, so I didn't even have to settle for the American ones. I got these cool Japanese Thomas the Tank Engine chopsticks. Can't beat that. So those will be used in my next meal that requires chopsticks. And also from my mother, let's see if I can get these here. These are utensils, fork and spoon. And check this out. Let me see if I can get these arranged in such a way that helps you see them. There we go. And they are, yeah, they're uh, basically modeled after, well, I don't know if they're modeled after, they look to be the same design, but they have these cool bullet train images on them. So here is one for the Series 5, and here's what it looks like in real life. It has its distinctive platypus bill nose. To, it helps with, uh, helps keep the train down on the track and it helps manage buffeting. So, hey, that's pretty neat. And I actually have this on HO scale, but I don't have it running yet, but I will soon, I promise, and I'll have a video on that. And this one, which is Series 6 bullet train. It also has a uh, platypus bill style nose. But these are cool. I'm not sure how fast these utensils will go, but I think they'll go pretty fast. Fast enough for me anyway. So there that. How cool are these? Yeah, I like them a lot. I'll make sure to hand wash them so I don't accidentally scrape off any of the actual Shinkansen stuff. Very, very neat. All right, for this next one, I'm going to have to turn off chroma key because there are just way, way, way too many colors on it. And I'm not going to take the time to try to figure out how to get all around that. So let's take these out of the way. And the last thing here is this cool thermos with all kinds of cool Japanese locomotives. And uh, actually, there's locomotives and EMUs. 
and starting with, let's see if I can get this better here. It has a cool little strap. Check that out. Nice little cup to work with for when I'm doing stuff. Maybe going out and doing some train spotting. Cool, nice pop lid. Very, very neat. All right, so we got the Series Zero or Zero K um, Shinkansen, and then we have a Series 500 Shinkansen, and then Series 489 Limited Express, and then we've got EF81 locomotive, and that's used for both passenger and freight. And then the last one, the blue and white one there is Series 581 slash 583, I think, Limited Express. So those are all very, very cool, and I actually have models of some of these i just haven't brought them out on video yet but i will as i walk around the world here so yeah it's pretty neat it's uh yep there we go let me see if i can get you better views uh, well actually there's another side there's not only these so here we go we can see what each of these trains is going to look like when it hits you and mows you down if you're dumb enough to get on the tracks and stay there let me see if i can get you a better view of these here we actually have more of these than we do trains that uh, you can see on the side if I'm not mistaken, the EF81 here is the Twilight Express. I'm pretty sure that's its symbol. Whereas the 581 is the Raicho, I think? Raicho service, which is a daylight, a daytime express or limited express. Let's see, this one here, the 81 has Kuroshio, which I'm pretty sure goes between Kyoto and Shingu. I think I've been on that train, not this exact model. And then, yep, uh, let's see, oh, stop bouncing around. And then the 489 is also right, Joe? Is that right? And then there's the Series 500. And then the very cool D51, the completely awesome classic steam locomotive from Japan, the progenitor of so many more that came after it. And looking back, I gotta double, think I double guess myself. Yes, that's right, Joe. Very cool. A lot of really classic and excellent Japanese trains represented here. There you go. Very fun times. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. Everything's going to taste better from here. All right, from the Esposa, let's plop this down here. And if you notice, it's from Lilliput, and I don't think I have too many very recent things from Lilliput. It's not a company that makes a lot of stuff that I want to buy. But when I saw these, I'm like, oh my gosh, these are very, very cool. And if you haven't figured out my sweet tooth thing from now, by now, you, you probably won't. But yes, I've got a sweet tooth. Let me get these out of here. All right, these are, uh, they're Swiss commuter cars. They're Swiss single level commuter cars. And these are run by BLS, which I think is owned at least mostly or in part by one particular province of Switzerland. But their livery marks the 100th anniversary of Cambly, which is a biscuit maker, a large biscuit maker in Switzerland, and they got their start in 1910. So these uh, these are out around uh, 2010, I guess. Let's pull this. Let's pull this out of here. And this is the cab control car. Get the sound. As you can see, this is an AC uh, car. So I'm going to run it on my Marklin set. I'm trying to build up a little bit more AC since I don't have quite as many. And that way I can have more cool stuff rolling at the same time. So here you go. Yep, pretty neat. So I don't know if each one of these cars um, is exactly the same or if the, I assume it used some sort of wrap. Um, I don't know if they're exactly the same, but check that out. And I'm curious to see if it'll take DCC if it's designed for kind of analog, which I guess it shouldn't since it's Marklin, it'll be AC and the lights won't change. I'm curious to see how that will go when I plop it on the track. Okay, there's that one. Let me get another one out of here. And this one is going to be a second class car also, although of course there's only one cab car. Let me plop that down. There we go. Very, very cool. So uh, let's take a quick look at that. It looks, yeah, again, I don't have anything particularly recent from Lilliput. So, and their stuff back in the day was a little bit cheap, I think, but it seems like they're doing a lot better job on that now. Not quite sure if I like, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it uses kind of an odd, I thought it was a, hmm, it's a bit of an odd coupler. I thought for a little while, oh, gosh, I don't, I don't think I've got anything with that coupler, but it's in an NEM pocket, so it won't be any problem. Um, hmm, okay, so there we go. It's got nice colored, single colored interior, it looks like. 
and each one of these, it looks like it has the provision for lights, but I probably won't worry about that since I'm going to run it close to the locomotive. Looks like the paint's a little bit uneven near the top. I'm not sure. Okay, get, in. Oh, get, get out of there. Okay, so here we go. It has the nice little gold thing around the window, so you know it's first class. Normally, I guess in Europe, it has that yellow stripe above the windows, but this will make it a little bit easier to see since I mean, probably a yellow stripe would be completely missed on this car. Hmm, I wonder why the paint's so uneven. It looks a little bit distracting, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Hmm, looks like all the different Cambly biscuits are different. I mean, they have repeat biscuits, but they're not in the same pattern. Yeah, actually, I thought these were Fleischmann couplers to begin with, but I guess they're not. I wonder if they're compatible in some way, though. But, all right, well, it rolls pretty smooth. Each of these don't have pickup shoes, and I can't detect if there's any kind of power couple. I mean, there's certainly not any pins that are power couplings in between the cars, but I don't think there'll be any power couplings. So let's go ahead and... This one here should be the one closest to the locomotive, I think. If I look at it right, because it only has doors on one side. Yeah, well, it has them on both, but it only has them colored, so I'm pretty sure this will be the one closest to the locomotive. So there are four cars in that set, but actually, if you want them all, you have to get this two, um, this two car expansion set. So there it is, and again, their AC as well. And they're second class, and I'm not sure if there's a first class in here or not. I guess if I would have looked a little bit more closely at the label, so there we go. There will be six cars total. Pretty nifty. I think that'll look good. And these ones sort of have the same paint fade towards the roof. I'm not sure why that is, but oh well. These ones, hmm, that's they're a different, different language, different saying on the text here. It knows. Okay, well, fair enough. But if you're gonna have these right, you need something to pull it or push it as the case may be. And I like push pull trains and I like pushing them because it's just kind of cool. So you, uh, you know, if you want, you can get this BLS um, RE465 from Roco. And yeah, back to this, I'm not sure why Lilliput didn't make a matching locomotive. What's weird is Hag did. Hag actually had a matching locomotive, um, but if you want to push pull this train and you want it to be matching, you can also let me get this. Let me get this out of here. Well, there's a bunch of parts. The one thing I sort of don't like about Roco, all these parts that you have to add yourself. It's, it's one of the few companies that makes you do all this. Here, I don't know what all this stuff is. Uh, oh, I guess I have to add the tops of the pantographs. And I'll do that later. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And what else is in here? These little, what are these things? Gosh, I hope these aren't grab irons. They're tiny and small and they look like they're just gonna get lost really easily. But no matter, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Let's get the thing itself out of here. Here we go. And there you go, it is the matching locomotive for these. Again, I'm not sure why Lilliput didn't make it and I know Hag did make this of course, the Roka one will be a little bit more affordable and I'm not too worried because it should match exactly. So there we go. It is the matching Cambly one and it has a dude in it. So I can't dislike that at all. So there we go. Yeah, looks great. I mean, it'll match up really, really well. And of course, um, this is also AC. You can notice the shoe there. Very, very nice looking locomotive. So I like the RE465 quite a bit. And of course, I, I don't know, it's just these big slab sides. They could put a lot of nice, you know, painting or you could put a nice artwork, whatever you want on them. So there we go, it is the matching locomotive. Of course, I'll have to switch out the coupler on the one that's closest here. So this will look just fine. So, all right, let me go ahead and put this on the track. And the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to see is if in fact the lights will change on this cab control car. And I think after we, yeah, there we go. It's uh, set to address three, not surprising. So how about that? It works right out of the box, excellent. Although one thing I did notice is that the headlights come on when it's running quote unquote forward. And I really wanted the headlights to come on when it's running backwards because I want the yeah, I want it to be when it's pushing, the locomotive is going backwards. So here it is, everything together, the Roco locomotive, and these looks great together.
So I'd love to know more about your Christmas hauls. Let me know down in the comments. What'd you get? Did you have to get yourself something? I actually got myself a couple presents too, but I thought I'd show off the ones that were gotten for me. So uh, yeah, what did you get? Tell me all about it. I want to share in your joy. All right, well, I appreciate you being here. Like always, please a like and a comment. I'd certainly love to hear your comments. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe. Looks like right now I'm actually doing a little bit better than most in that about 20 something percent of my views are from subscribers, but I would love that count to go up and it really helps my algorithm. All right. Well, like usual, happy model railroading. I hope your new year is a good one, but I'll talk to you before then. So, yep. Well, like usual, I'll have a full running session for you here in a second too. So hang on for that. All right. Take care. Stay safe. Looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.